Hi guys and welcome back to Riley's on the Road. We were in Hershey, Pennsylvania for two weeks. Let's see what we did there. The drive to Hershey, Pennsylvania was about seven hours. We were with some friends from the Balloon Festival for a few days. One activity we did was to go to a science museum. It was an interactive museum with the Jungle Jam bubbles, paper airplanes, and more. It was not very big, but it was fun. On Friday, we went to the Yingling factory. Yingling is my dad's favorite beer, so he was very excited. Yingling is America's oldest brewery. It was founded by David Yingling in 1829. It has been family owned and operated since then. It has only three locations and we went to the original one. We went down to the caves where the beer was aged before refrigeration. We also went to one of the old bars. Next, we went to the canning room. Altogether, Yingling makes roughly 2.6 million barrels of beer a year. That makes it the largest craft brewery in the United States. At the end of our tour, we got samples of some of their drinks. My mom and dad got different kinds of beer. We got birch beer. Don't worry, it's just like root beer. Our overall Yingling experience was amazing. After the factory tour, we went to lunch at Roma. It was really good. The servings were giant for being quite inexpensive. On the way home, we stopped at a big good shack and got a shoe fly pie. My dad really liked it. Since we were in Hershey, we of course had to visit Hershey's Chocolate World. We went on Hershey's Chocolate Tour to learn how chocolate is made. We learned about the history of Hershey while we waited in line, but thankfully the line wasn't long. The tour was like an amusement park ride. We sat in these cars and were shown the chocolate making process. Afterwards, we looked around the huge gift shop and got these fancy milkshakes. After Hershey, we went to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania for our capital tour. The dome is actually supposed to be lime green with bright green tiles covering it. The architecture of this building is inspired by St. Peter's Basilica, but different rooms have different Renaissance styles. The Senate room is very colorful. The old Supreme Court room has this marvelous stained glass dome. The House of Representatives has this huge mural like in many other rooms. On Sunday, we went to Independence Hall. We got a 20 minute tour of the rooms. In 1776, the Declaration of Independence was signed and 11 years later, the Constitution was created and signed both at Independence Hall. It was originally created to be Pennsylvania State House. It once housed all three branches of Pennsylvania colonial government. More than 90% of Independence Hall is original. In this room, the chair with the sun is original too. It was George Washington's. Also in this room, there are 13 tables to represent the 13 colonies. After Independence Hall, we went to Congress Hall for a tour. Congress Hall was the first capital of the United States from 1790 to 1800. Across the street from Independence Hall is the Liberty Bell. With the huge crack, the Liberty Bell is an icon in American independence. We went to the Visitor Center and the girls got their Junior Ranger badges. We met up with some friends to go to Benjamin Franklin's printing press. We watched the Rangers set type and print on the old fashioned printing press. Now, these are called ink beaters, right? Why do you think I actually call them ink beaters? Because you pieces of type? Exactly right. So I'm going to go down and actually put the ink onto the pieces of type. Bar, and it's going to you actually make a screw inside here, twist, and pull the lock down. It's going to go here, and I'm going to do it one more time. And when we're done, we're going to pull it on out. Now, what do you think we're going to see, boys? Anybody want to take a guess? It's the, the ink uh, is on the paper. Ink is on the paper. Exactly right. Oh, and if wow. your guess was that you would see the Declaration of Independence, you would be right. For lunch, we went to Gino's. The sandwiches were okay, but not the best.
We went to an Amish bakery for breakfast. We got pastries and soft pretzels. Well, Grandma came for a few days and stayed at a hotel in the city. My dad picked her up from the airport. On my birthday, I had a party with some of the kids at my campground. We um, decorated cookies and played games. Some were so nice and gave me presents. I made my own red velvet cake. My birthday was so fun. We went to Bird in Hand, which is a buffet-style Amish restaurant. We went to the Gettysburg National Military Park while we were staying nearby. We got to go to the museum, and part of it was seeing the Gettysburg Cyclorama. This huge painting is 377 feet long and 42 feet high. Since it is in a circle, it makes you feel like part of the painting wherever you turn. We went through the rest of the museum, which showed a lot of Civil War history, not just the Battle of Gettysburg. After the museum, we went on a drive to all the important spots on the battlefield. On our drive, we saw lots of memorials for the different regiments. This one is dedicated to the soldiers of Virginia overlooking Pickett's Charge, the assault that is best known during the Battle of Gettysburg. The battle lasted from July 1st to July 3rd and was one of the most important battles of the Civil War. After two days of heavy fighting, Pickett's Charge was the Confederates' last chance to take the high ground. The assault was disastrous, leaving nearly one half of the Confederates dead. The Battle of Gettysburg is the bloodiest battle ever fought on American soil. The Union suffered 23,000 casualties and the Confederates lost 28,000 men, making 51,000 casualties total. The Battle of Gettysburg was a monumental victory for the North as it stopped the Confederate invasion and was the turning point of the war. We visited the Gettysburg National Cemetery, where Lincoln read his famous Gettysburg Address. His two-minute speech has left its mark on history forever. We went to Friendly's for dinner after Gettysburg. They had good ice cream. We put on the Bar Harbor, Acadia, Fort William Henry, Yingling, and Hershey stickers on the trailer. Dad put the Pennsylvania sticker on our map. We spent our time at Thousand Trails Hershey and met some really great full-time families. Roma Pizza in Pottsville was the definite win food-wise, but the Amish baked goods and ice cream at Friendly's were also highlights. Pennsylvania had roadside produce stands all over, and we really enjoyed the fresh produce, eggs, and baked goods we bought. Wish we could find that everywhere. We were very busy the entire time at Hershey, and we're especially grateful Grandma Carol was able to fly out and spend time touring with us. It was so nice to see Grandma. See you next week on Riders on the Road. Bye!